Hi everybody, John Han with The Pulsing Cinema, and today's movie is 1977's Shockwaves, directed by Ken Wiederhorn. It's really one of the scariest movies I've ever seen. Uh, a Nazi zombie film. Now, th th that is kind of a weird subgenre because uh, it is a, a, a horror subgenre because there are quite a few Nazi zombie films, amazingly. You know, there was uh, Jean Roland's Zombie Lake or Nazi or German soldier, you know, f zombie films. Jean Roland's uh, Zombie Lake. You got some German zombies. Uh, Jess Franco's uh, Oasis of the Zombies. There's some zombies there. And most recently, Dead Snow. Uh, that's a, 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 a they're, they're really Nazi zombies there. But uh, to me, nothing matches up to uh, this little scrappy, low-budget film just shot in the Miami area in, in the late 70s. It's just such a creepy such a scary film. So the movie's about basically uh, a, a group of people uh, on a small uh, pleasure cruise who get stranded on this uh, desert island which is inhabited by this uh, old Nazi, this old SS commander played by Peter Cushing. And years ago he sunk a ship full of uh, this experimental uh, core of um, genetically modified German soldiers, Nazi soldiers, called Der Toten Core or the Death Core. And he thought he he sunk them off the coast. He thought he killed them, but apparently he haven't. He didn't. He didn't kill them because they're they're running around the island. And very slowly, uh, this death core starts to uh, kill the uh, this this group from the pleasure cruise, and uh, they and the captain of this pleasure cruise is played by John Carradine. He's one of the first victims. Uh, oh my God! Spoiler alert. Uh, but <laughs> um, but so they've they've got to find a way to survive and a way to get out of it. So, I mean. It's a really good film, a really classy horror film, because a lot of the the scares in this film uh, are, are are just from the mood, the style of it. The soundtrack is this uh, early synthesizer soundtrack by Richard Einhorn, and it's almost somewhere, but and it's not really a very smooth. It's not like a smooth John Carpenter style soundtrack. It's partially like soundtrack, partially sound effects. It feels like it's made on a very early Moog modular or some some modular synthesizer where you're making sounds and and uh, you know square waves and it's very very simple electronic music very uh, very very experimental and and crazy. In fact, the soundtrack was released was remastered from the original tapes and re-released a, a couple of years ago. So that's definitely one I need to track down. But there's not really a lot of overt Gore. There's no real overt gore. Uh, there is some interesting makeup effects with the uh, d the, the death core. Uh, there's not there's not any nudity in the film though. It does star a young Brooke Adams, and there's some very titillating things about her in the with in a yellow bikini in this film. But you know, other than that, it's a very uh, classy, stylish, uh, you know, early seven or late seventies horror film that really just, you know, it earns its bones on just being really scary and just really moody. And the fact that these, the members of the Death Corps, the, the way that they move, I mean, they don't move very fast and you see, and they actually show up, you just see them and you look over, they look over and, oh, positioned here in the, you know, on the, just the shore of this, of this island, oh. There's the death core, and they're just kind of standing there. And so they, they just kind of they do that John Carpenter thing where they kind of very, they stand around and move very slowly. And, uh, you know, and they're like underwater Nazi zombies because the idea is they've been supposed to have been underwater for a long period. So they're like all white, and their skin is all parched and white and waterlogged, and their hair is white, shocking white. 
Uh, and so their uniforms are all aged because they're supposed to have been underwater for all those years. And there's these very striking scenes with them uh, appearing from the water, uh, you know, coming onto the shore from the water. And you just see this group of them coming onto shore from the water. Oh man, it is just so sc- and and then it's scored with that very simple electronic soundtrack. Oh man, it is a scary, scary, scary movie. It really is one of my favorite horror films. Really, at the end of the day, it's not a film I think about a lot. But then when I watch it, just I just get into it. and I'm like, oh man, this is just a really scary film. This isn't making like a a, a statement about culture and it's not you know, making a statement about culture and society, and it's not this big social comment. It's just a, a film that's just designed to get in, get out, scare the hell out of you. The perfect uh, late 70s drive-in flick, you know, really. Um, which really is, you know, PG-13, basically. For, so it's for the whole family, really. You know, but it still is a very good, spooky, scary film. So there it is, Ken Wiederhorn's Shockwaves.